Hi, I'm Cayman Reynolds and I have two awesome tips for you. It's an exciting time. There's more beekeepers than ever testing for Varroa and they're looking and seeing what's going on in their hives and because of that they're treating their mites appropriately and their bees are thriving. They're making more honey and not having to buy bees. Now I'm going to leave a link for these products down below. I love this one over here. Both of them have served me well. They have saved me so much money. Understanding what Varroa is doing in my colonies is my treatments working, all of those things. However, there's some things about this one that I didn't like that this one is totally fixed for me and so I'm excited to share with you this uh, Saracel Varroa Mite Test Bottle. And this is made in New Zealand. It's very strong. I'm putting a good bit of pressure and it's barely flexing at all. And it has a nice removable lid with a seal. This seal is awesome very easy to put this on pop that back in take it off but the seal is what's so nice because used to all I used was alcohol and we're gonna get to that in a second and this easy check leaks like a sieve almost from the rim around where you screw it on so that's a little bit of a problem another thing that's really nice about this one is all the slots that it has you can see where I just mixed up the soap <laughs> But those slots allow Varroa to pass through them much better. And I just uh, really like the construction of all of this right here. And it's more affordable too, which I like saving money. So um, this is definitely how we're, what we're using now and what we will continue to, to use going forward. This one ha does a good job though and is accurate, I think. Um, it's, it seems to really compare between the two of them. So I've never had any issues with the accuracy. Occasionally a mite will get caught in one of these holes. I think they're, it's a little bit more prone to get mites stuck in this top area. But I don't really like the lid at all. Sometimes it's very difficult to get to screw on and it's just a little bit of a slower process and I don't like to get alcohol or soap all over my hands or gloves. Now let's go to the next part of the tip. So used to all we used was alcohol that's why we pretty much call them alcohol washes however due to recent events you may have heard of there was a shortage of a lot of alcohol available and so guys like randy oliver and others tested different products and randy has been really pleased with the results from don ultra soap so do i want to turn this into a commercial no let's not do that so anyways most of you probably use this in the kitchen some type of product like this you can get this so cheap and a tablespoon of it in a gallon of water will wash mites off your bees like crazy and you can get some really good test results that's very cheap I mean, we're talking pennies to be able to do a wash like that and you're not having to fool with alcohol that can leak or get on your hands and let you know of every little cut and scrape that you have this does work really good, but you want to use it full strength. So it's, again, a lot more expensive than just doing like a tablespoon to a gallon of water. This goes a lot further. So it'll just save you money and, well, they're both really clean. So there's a couple tips right here of things that we are starting to utilize for our business and we found very helpful. If you found something different or similar, leave them down below. Monitoring our mites is important to sustainability and our industry growing and a lot of regeneration happening and i'm so excited to see more beekeepers from the hobby level all the way up monitoring their mites because when you understand that and you deal with them appropriately you're going to have a lot more bees great queens dead mites good nutrition then after that it's honey production baby we'll see you in the next video